Hello there, I'm Mike Palmer and it's the end of winter, beginning of spring and now is the perfect time to cut back fronds on ferns and so in today's how-to I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. It's that time of year when the fronds on ferns are beginning to look a little bit tired. They've started to dry out from the ravages of winter and it's been a particularly mild winter here I have to say but it's time for these old fronds to be cut back to make way for the new foliage. I'm actually going to make a start on this Asplenium heart's tongue fern and if you pull the old ferns fronds back these are the new fronds just down here hunkered down nice and warm but what will happen is very soon, in the next couple of weeks, they will start to unfurl. Croziers, as they call them, will start to unfurl. And as they get higher, it's then difficult to get in and cut the old growth back. So it's literally a case of going in and carefully cutting away the old fronds with a pair of sharp secateurs. Listen to the seagulls and just gradually and carefully cutting away those old fronds. And the old fronds can be cut up and put on the compost heap. Just being very, very careful not to damage anything that's, oops, that's uh, underneath. So that's it. There's all the old ferns removed and then the new fronds will curl up from the very base of the plant there. And it's exactly the same process on this Dryopteris. This is Cristata the King, just going in and very carefully cutting away the old fronds, being careful not to damage the new fronds underneath. And again, you can see there's the new fronds waiting to come up at the very base of the plant here. And just finishing up with this one here. Again, this can all be cut up and composted. And there you are. quick tidy up and there's your fern cut back and ready for these new fronds to unfurl in the next few weeks. So that's a really easy five minute job to be doing in the garden at this time of year. Join me next time when we'll be looking at how to do something else in the garden and whilst you're here why not subscribe to my videos so you don't miss any. See you next time. Bye bye.